What's up guys, Media Bias here from the Halo Archive. This is the first video in the multiplayer map lore series. Today we're going to be talking about Abandon and all the mystery that it holds. Uh, I have myself here. We have Toa Freak from Waypoint and Cannon. Are you there? And we also have Nocti Vegas from our forum. What's going on guys? So uh, today you guys, we'll just, uh, basically, we'll just start off, you know, um, start, start off looking at the map here and, you know, Obviously, 343 created this dark, ominous feel in the map, and you know it's a great multiplayer map from from a gameplay standpoint. I, I really like it. It's one of the best capture the flag maps I thought. Um, but there's you know upon second glance, there's a lot more to it, um, and you know and, and honestly, I have no idea what what 343 intends. But we you guys know as well as I do that 343, you know they connect dots, and everything they say has a little more meaning to it. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, so, yeah, definitely. I mean, the 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 official description of Abandon is, and this is you know from 343. It says on the remote world of Erebus Seven, at the very edge of human occupied space. So we know this is way out there. An ONI research facility, which was once teeming with researchers, now lies eerily vacant. Although the hostility of this world had been initially considered by its team leaders, it is tragically clear that a great many things, and things is in quotation marks, had simply not been taken into account. That, uh, that screams, <laughs> that screams something, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thing tends to do that. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at it here, and it's just like, I mean, when you, when you look at the map, and, and, you know, basically what we're talking about here is you can see that there's, there are actual, there's actually flares, um, throughout the map that are on the ground and they're they're recently lit and they kind of looks like uh, almost as if the science team at this base had just randomly vanished and and we have no idea what system this is in however Toa you looked up Erebus didn't you the, uh, yeah. the planet basically or well yeah, there's not a whole lot about it but I mean you know it comes from this uh, what they call it a this Greek primordial deity and it basically means deep shadow or deep darkness or shadow. So, and uh, he's the personification. Um, Erebus in Greek mythology is the personification of sh of darkness. So, oh. Wow. Uh, yeah. An I, aptly aptly picked name, I think. Definitely. I mean, um, Nocti, did you have anything you wanted to put in on that? Well, I mean, aside from the fact that. It's obvious that there's something going on here. Um, he mentioned the word precursor, and while I understand precursor, it wasn't being used in the tense that I'm taking it in. Uh, this place is really organic. Uh, aside from the actual base, the UNSC base that's here, the lab, everything around this just screams to me uh, flood, even though it's not. Well, you know, that brings up a good point, too, because, I mean, it, it's on the very edge, you know, it says, of human-occupied space, you know, by the time 2557 or, or whatnot. And, I mean, so we know it's far out, which, I mean, I, I don't know necessarily where the system is, if it's past the, the Maginos uh, line. But, I mean, what if the, the planet had been overrun by flood at one time and, you know, with, with the halo... I mean, back before that, the Halo rings fired, but it's like it's almost it almost reminds me of like a desolate what was once like a infested flood world. A little bit, but you'd think it would have changed quite significantly. I mean, who knows how much it really could have changed in a hundred thousand years? I mean, talking about that whole flood thing, I mean, some of the sounds in the background on this map sound very flood inspired. Um, Nocti talked about the organicness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this world, like right near where the flares are, we were talking about. And if you have the video pulled up, uh, at, not for the people viewing this, but for us when we're putting this together, obviously, it's at about 13 minutes. Where, you know, you have the this airlift that's built into the tree, and it it just you know it looks like the gas is just escaping from this or this hole in the ground. So, which you know. Get, you know, gases like that would suggest some sort of organic makeup. Right, right. Yeah, yeah I'm looking at that now, and it's yeah. funny that you say that. I'd never really... I mean, obviously it's there, you know, for, for gameplay purposes as well, but I mean, 
they added that hole in, in the middle of that of that ground. It, it's a little different. 